first in a series of videos that I am producing to try and learn Japanese. I've wanted to learn Japanese for a very long time now, and my New Year's resolution is to just get on with it. Now, we're starting this series by working through the Japanese course provided by Rosetta Stone. Uh, they didn't provide it. I bought it, but it was on sale, so whatever. I thought it would be worth giving it a go because we managed to get it for a, a, a really good price, get all the, all the levels. So we've got level 1, level 2, and level 3. And essentially what I thought we could do together is just sit down and go through all of the courses that Rosetta Stone offers together. Try and learn a little Japanese together. And then by the end of this Rosetta Stone course, I'm pretty confident that someone will recommend a next program or next step. this kind of level. And I know that there are some people out there who like having the difference between the speaking and the whispering. So I'm going to try and mix it up for you guys. Anyway, let's go ahead and press continue. And it's asking us to play one, two, three, four, and five. So, here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, there we go. Nice and straightforward. We may have to. Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. So, we've got to immediately turn down the sound settings on this because it was super loud. Konnichiwa. 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 Perfect. That's how you say hello, I think. So I need to then choose which one is onanoko. It means, I guess, female child and male child onanoko. Onnanoko 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 Otokonoko Otokonoko Awesome I hope this isn't too loud for you guys I'm going to turn it down a bit This is adult female I can obviously change this in post as well But we'll make sure that it's not too loud for you guys Otoko so you can see this Otoko no hito for the characters. So that's that one. Onna no hito. Onna no hito. So that's uh, adult male and female, I guess. Nice and straightforward. 
女の人。女の人。男の人。男の人男の人 I hope you guys are following along at home. ジュースジュースジュース、uh, So I'm saying which one of these is still a juice? I guess it must be this one. ジュースジュースお茶 So our chat is tea, which will be this one. お茶 And finally, Mitsu, which I guess is water. Mizu. Nice. We got that one correct. Okay. So we can see here. ジュース
お茶お茶水水水新聞新聞新聞本本本
just listen to that again. Kare wa yori shite カレオジョは料理しています。彼女は料理しています。彼女は料理しています。彼らは料理しています。彼らは料理しています。料理しています。料理しています。料理しています。料理しています。料理しています。料理しています。料理しています。料理しています。料理しています。料理しています。料理しています。料理しています。料理しています。料理しています。料理しています。料理しています。料理しています。料理しています。料理しています。料理しています。料理しています。
see what happens if we put it to like super difficult. Let's go back into this lesson. Let's continue my current progress. Perfect. So we'll get these all up to 100% because that's obviously what we want to do. So we get to this one here as well. Will we try this one? Perfect. There you go. So it's just teaching you the difference between like specifying girl or boy or just male or male and female. The karewa for the male. So that wasn't too hard after all, was it? Uh, so I guess from going on from here, it's going to make things a lot more difficult for us. So. This is probably quite a good time to uh, take a pause here, and we will do the next uh, lesson next time. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. I hope you have enjoyed this first lesson of Japanese ASMR style. It's a new concept, and it's something that I wanted to do with you all, just because it felt like it could be a really interesting thing to do together, and also motivate me to keep on doing it. So if you Enjoy this and enjoy the difference between whispering and softly speaking, then please do make sure that you like the video and subscribe.